Hi, just a, uh, a little review today of something a bit different. Um, not my normal sort of subject of review, but this is a children's balance bike. Um, this is made by Ridgeback and it's the Scoot model. Um, I chose this because having looked at um, what's on the market, it really did seem to be head and shoulders, in my opinion, above um, what else was available. Um, that doesn't mean to say it was particularly cheap. Um, it's one of the more expensive um, balance bikes that you can get. Um, it's £99 RRP, but generally you can see um, probably £79 um, online. Um, and certainly if you're not fussy about colour, um, there's some bargains to be had out there. But my little boy, he loves green things, so um, this one was picked up locally, but I got a 10% discount on it, so that's pretty good. Um, in terms of balance bikes in general, um, as it says on the sort of hang tag here, um, they're the easiest way to learn to cycle um, because you're picking up the core skill of balancing and then all you need to do is kick in the, the, the pedalling element um, rather than going with stabilisers and then having to learn everything afresh as you, as you take them off. Um, as I say, this, this appears to me to be sort of head and shoulders above everything else. Um, it's got an all aluminium construction on the frame. Um, it's got brakes. Uh, it's got some nice V-brakes there at the back, um, and you know, in my opinion, so having brakes at an early stage is as important as learning to balance, because it's learning the principles of how to stop. Um, nice little bell, and uh, generally an all-round sort of well-built well bike. You know, it's got the, the routing of the brake cable through the frame there. Um, the rear brakes aren't actually very powerful. Um, but, you know, that's by design, I think, to make it not a scary experience for the, the, the junior cycler. Um, one of the really, really good things about it is, well, one really nice thing I thought was having a, a seat with a built-in handle on it. So you can basically pick it up like that. You've got the quick adjustment, oh, move my hand, quick adjustment on the seat post there, so you can with it up and down with ease and that being the lowest setting but the real real good thing um, which I really was very pleased to see was that with the bike you get an envelope and within that envelope you get a nice long seat post so as you can see that gives quite a lot more longevity in terms of how long your children can ride the bike. Um, other features worthy of comment, obviously you've got nice pneumatic tyres there, you've got um, you know, the simplicity of not having um, to have tension adjusters here because there's no chain obviously, um, so you just have the little hangers um, which hold everything in place. Um, generally very very pleased um, nice comfy hand grips you, if you fall on that you're not going to hurt yourself too much um, proper headset everything's really good about it um, the only thing that I'm slightly disappointed about is the finish on the rims here is a little bit sort of misty um, a little bit tarnished around the edge there um, maybe for the you know, the upper end of the price point, a um, little bit disappointed with that. And also, um, you know, the general paint finish is very good. Um, as you can see, it's got, you know, the, the logos, and they're actually within the painted finish. So it looks to me like you have the powder coat, then you have these, and then you have a lacquer over it. And it's the lacquer that is a little bit disappointing. Um, if you can see just there, um, the lacquer's cracked off, and somewhere down here as well, just so you can see some sort of blistering in it. So the lacquer finish isn't perfect. Um, but aside from that, I'm very pleased with it. And uh, so is my little boy. So I do think that's probably one of the best um, bikes available on the UK market. Um, I saw on the US market there's some quite cool ones with a, um, a bottom bracket which sort of can be taken off. So you can swap on the pedals when you need it, which I thought was a really good idea. But they were about, I think they were about $250, and then you'd have to ship them over. So 
not really viable. Um, that, I think, represents a good deal. Okay, hope that's useful. Thank you, bye.